Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday was a Madaraka Day celebration. This was the last Madaraka Day President Uru Kenyatta was celebrating as the sitting president. And again, it is coming at a time when we are now in campaign season. And therefore, the presidential candidates have been sharing out their photos during this celebration together with their running mate. If you look at Raila Molo Dinga, there are photos he took with the mother Karua he shared. Again, there are other photos he took with Mother Karua and Mama Ida Odinga. He again shared, showing that they are celebrating Madaraka Day. And Kenyans have been commenting. But contrary to this, Kenyans came to realize that there is no, at any instant time, the Deputy President William Samai Ruto, who happened to be UDA party presidential candidate, he never shared any photo with his running mate, Regarding Gashago. <laughs> and it happened that it is it is now we are now learning that William Samuel Ruto, before coming to Madaraka Day, they met at current residence. Mselem Dabad was there, Akinaweta, and even regarding Gashagwe. But there is one photo that emerged on social media where William Ruto took that photo together with Mselem Dabadi, but Rigatha Gashagwe was appearing behind far in that photo. Meaning Ruto did not want Rigatha Gashagwe to appear in that photo. <laughs> and again, I have gone further to check on Rigatha Gashagwe's social media. Though his account is not yet verified. But seemingly you can see also he just shared his photo celebrating Madaraka Day. No, at any instant he has shared a photo together with William Ruto just to show that they are celebrating together. But Mother Karua, again, she shared the photo where she was taken with Raila Odinga on her social media platform celebrating that Madaraka Day. And the question we are asking ourselves here, why did William Samuel Ruto avoid sharing photo with Rigatha Gashagwe during the celebration? And again, why did Rigatha Gashagwe avoid sharing photo with William Ruto during the celebration when Raila Odinga and Mother Karua were peacefully and happily sharing their photos. That is what we want to try and analyze here. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, the truth of the matter is that it is turning out that William Samuel Ruto made a wrong choice when he decided to go for Rigatha Gashagwe as his running mate. And the people are talking outside here that every time Rigatha Gashagwe opens his mouth to talk about 1,000 voters run away from William Ruto. <laughs> Every time you give Rigatha Gashagwe a mic, that is going to be a win for Mother Karua and a win for Raila Molo Ding. A big lose for William Samoy Ruto. This is a perception that is trending outside here. And the uh, it is imagining that William Samai Ruto is learning that he has he did a huge mistake. There was other better option he could have gone for. And to sanitize this mistake, I'm learning that William Samai Ruto is trying every means possible to put himself Mudabadi in front rather than Rigatha Gashagwe. He cannot change his running mate. Because the Gashagwe will be the running mate. But to sanitize that image, William Ruto is trying to bring the image of Musalia Mudavadi. And even you, if you check in those rallies when they attend their rallies, Ruto will speak, then Mudavadi will come second, regard the Gashagwe, and then the team will follow. So he's trying to bring the image of Musalia Mudavadi to sanitize the regard the Gashagwe. Adio, 
someone who was involved in torturing of Kenyans. <laughs> and so many bad incidents, you can target to the Gadi Shagwa. To sanitize that, you come with the Muslim Dawad. And that's why he was comfortably sharing the photos together with the Muslim Dawad, but not the Gadi Kashagwa. That is the tight situation where William Samuel Ruto is in now. <laughs> so the main issue here is that Ruto is learning that he has a poisonous person as his running mate. And because of this, even regarding Gishagwa himself, Ruto is learning that he might not contain the situation in Mount Kenya region as far as defending William Samai Ruto votes. The indications are that Mother Karua is in a good position to, to strike in Mount Kenya region. Ruto also learns that regarding Gishagwa cannot help him get votes outside the Mount Kenya region. That means Coast, Western, Nyanza, Ukambani region, Lower Eastern, North Eastern, and even Rift Valley itself, where he came from. The other time he was in Rift Valley, bragging about how Ruto has been pouring money in Mount Kenya region, and he has the support. Then we have people who are complaining in Rift Valley that Ruto is giving out money, but nothing is being given back to the society where he came from. What was there when I say my charity begins at home. And you see, that incident alone makes the people of Rift Valley to stay at home rather than going in large numbers to vote for William Root. Vote apathy. Regarde Gashagwe is causing vote apathy right at William Samuel Ruto's doorstep in Rift Valley. Bedroom Kula Natok. So because of this, Ruto is not happy. And therefore, in this election, if there is a ticket that is not going to campaign happily, joyously, in good harmony, it is the Ruto Rigade ticket. Look at Mother Karua and Raila Molodinga. The matrix is working. Mother Karua is complimenting Raila Odinga. The issue even is standing at the mountain. And that is why even President Uhuru Kenyatta was openly endorsing Mother Karua rather than endorsing Raila Odinga because an endorsement to Mother Karua, it is a direct endorsement to Raila Amolo Odinga. So what they are selling in Mount Kenya as of now, it is a vote for Mother Karua. Karua versus Rigadi Gashagwa. That is the game that is playing there. So Ruto is learning that the choice is the worst. And, uh, you know, picture speaks a lot. I want you to watch and uh, again watch that video, sorry, that picture very careful. Why did Ruto decide to pick a photo where Rigadi Gashagwa is appearing far behind? <laughs> Then he is comfortably in that photo with Musalia Mdawad. Where is he leaving his running mate? So the Kenya Kwanza house is not in order. There is no peace. There is huge division in that house. And every division in this coalition and any political party that is on ballot presenting a presidential candidate, it is a win for their opponent. And Ruto is learning that if there is any chance, by any chance, that they win this election, what he has done to President Uhuru Kenyatta is exactly what the Gaza Gashagwe is going to do to him. Man of high temper, very temperament. And you can't advise the Gaza Gashagwe because I'm sure even how, up, as of now, these people are trying to talk to the Gaza Gashagwe to refrain from the kind of talk he is having now and take another path on how he is discussing or campaigning, reaching out to the electorate, campaigning for William Samai Ruto. And you see, regarding the Gashaga has been able to be challenged by everyone. Even Charity Ngilu was 
was the other time sharing out a video where the Gaza Gashaga was castigating the people of Lower Eastern, the Ukamban people. He was laughing at them. That you people, you have 1.5 million to 2 million votes. Na nawambia openly, hiyo inazafanya mutu wa president. It means their vote has no value. They don't add any value as far as election is concerned. Then the same route will get to Rift Valley, sorry, to Ukamban region to campaign. So tell me, is there any Kamba who can vote for William Ruto after listening to the speech from Rigatha Gashagwe? He has criticized them. That means Ukambani vote does not matter to William Ruto as far as Rigatha Gashagwe's statement is. I don't think if there is a Kamba with a good sound mind who can go and vote for William Ruto if you listen to Rigatha Gashagwe's speech. It's ridiculous. So Ruto is learning that he has the worst choice as a running mate. That is the biggest reason he is not comfortable to share those photos out with Rigathe Gashagwe. <laughs> Otherwise, if not, he will be sharing. So there's a lot of infight there. Rigathe Gashagwe want to appear as number two to William Ruto, but Ruto seemingly, in that order, he want Musele Mudawadi to appear as his number two. <laughs> and this is an indicator to Rigathe Gashagwe. In case this team is going to win election, William Ruto would be comfortably have Musalia Mudabadi being given more responsibilities in his government and not regarding Gashagwe. Gashagwe will have no responsibility. He might have no portfolio in William Ruto's government in case they win, just in case. Ruto is going to consider Musalia Mudabadi as his trusted man to be assigned more duties and not regard the Gashagwe. That's what I'm reading into this issue. I don't know your view, but we can meet in the comment section to have a continuation of this conversation. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you. And by the way, there's some information coming out that Ruto is finally indicating that he might not attend the presidential debate. Why? That might be our next video. Thank you so much. See you in our next video.